So I've just done a video of how you can play this game early. And as you can see, I'm on the game and I'm playing it early. I've actually just done something and I want to just share it. So I'm recording right now. So when you get on the game, if you go over to the right side of the menu, it does say welcome to Skull and Bones. If you played the beta and you had 7,000 silver or 500 of whatever that coin is up at the top right, you can buy this bundle. So I don't know if you're not going to be able to buy this at a later date. So make sure you do that before you start the game. That is just something I wanted to point out for you guys. So yeah, let's quickly just see what else we get. So with this, you get the vanity, you get the cosmetic, so you've got the uh, the cheers, which is a love heart symbol. I probably won't be doing this too much, and he just shook his bum in my face. You get the fresh shores sail color. It's not too bad. I don't know if I'll be using it, but it just makes your ship unique. We get the add morality. Wow, do I even speak English? And uh, yeah, so emblem, which is not bad. You get the yeah, <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt to read that one. And then you get a clink of fortunes, which is two beers cheers in for the firework. That is the firework I am going to be using. So if we back out, this is where it was. So when you, as soon as you come into the game, go over to Welcome to Skull and Bones. And then press X to go to Details. And this is where it gave you the option to buy it with silver. Now, I wouldn't spend the gold coins if... Because that might be for store items. So try not to spend them. And try and even if, if it lets you go into the game. Get 7,000 silver and buy it that way. Um, it might be better. And let's go to calling all caps and see what this is all about. Oh, so you have to visit the website for that. Let's just take a look at the store while we're here as well. Well, it's got a bonus. So, right. So that's the one I just bought. Brilliant. So you buy that straight from the store. You've got the bloody angel. What's this? That is so cool. We got an angel of death. Oh, that sail with the, the blood on it is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Okay, not too fond on the ship color. Then we have got the Libertine Captain outfit. I like that. You can't turn him, though, which is quite annoying because I want to see what's on the back. I like the hat. I like the eye patch. I'm not too bold about the necklace. The hands, the gauntlet's pretty cool. The rings are pretty cool. The belt is definitely cool. The trousers, not too bothered. And the boots, not too bothered. But that's 800 coin. Then we've got the first mate, whiskers. Keep an eye on your crew while you sail. <laughs> it's got an earring and it's got a peg leg. Let's go. Then what else have we got? We've got the creeping death ship bundle. Okay, so what is that? It's a sail colour. I don't like the white on that sail. But I definitely like the skulls. We've got the tarot ship bundle. Which got death and the star. Nice. That's quite nice. I like that, the gold and black. With a fool's fortune emblem. You can't really see that. And then you've got the sun's ju judgment around the sails. Not too bothered about that. I do like the sail colour. I'm not too bothered about the, sh uh, the ship colour because it's not gold. So I'd rather have a gold than mustard. We got the Sir Renegald Grim, which is a sail emblem, which is that skull with the swords. Not too bothered about it. I don't think that's worth it. Uh, but you can buy it with silver, which is pretty cool. And then you've got the Targe ship pattern as well. Do you know what? While I've got the silver and the coin, I might as well always buy what's in the store for the silver. And we do that again with the Sir Reynold, Ren Reg Reginald, Sir Reginald. Did I say that right? Confirm. We'll back up. Is there anything else in this store that is silver? No. So the Flash, seven days. These are seven days. I don't know why it says emissive. Not too sure. So maybe that's like a limited... So 14 days less le left as well to get that. So maybe that's a limited and you won't ever be able to get this again. So maybe this is whoever plays the game first month, they get rewarded with that, which is really cool, I suppose. Currency, what's this? So 500 gold, which you got given with the game, is actually 7.9 uh, New Zealand dollars. So I don't know what that is in pounds. Remember, in order to do this, you have to turn your experts to New Zealand to be able to play it early. And it goes all the way up to the 6,000, which is 96.90 New Zealand dollars. Not too sure what that is. 
and of course they're going to say it's the best value. If we go to Ubisoft Connect, is there anything that we can redeem here? I'm curious yet again to know if we can do that. Rewards. Okay, new Pathfinder ship plate, North Star. I need to unlock more coins. Pathfinder's motive and a mo. Okay, that's all right. Golden sales. Well, I might as well get all the the free stuff. So if you haven't got a, a Ubisoft Connect, make sure you do that to get all the free stuff. What's that land? Oh, it's a ship color as well. Yeah, let's go. I'm gonna unplug my controller so you might get a something pop up on your screen. No, it's just froze it. Okay, perfect. Sorted. What's it? Good start. So we get some resources for a better start. Brilliant. I'm happy with that. Skull and Bones fan kit. Enjoy key arts, avatars, screenshots, logos, and more. We'll pass on that. That might be good for a video, though. A colourful and explosive firework to set off. Get it free exotic. Participate in the Skull and Bones open beta event to unlock the reward. Well, I did participate in the open beta. So I don't know why that's locked. But it should be unlocked. Unfortunately, it's not at this moment of time. Um, and I don't know if I want to get that that wheel. I uh, probably will, but not yet. <laughs> probably will. What challenges have we got in here then? So, deal damages a pirate community. Wow. We didn't deal enough. How many pieces of eight do we get? It says pieces of eight, but it doesn't say how many we're going to get. But that's pretty cool. We get repair kits. You get... We get loads of resources by doing challenge. Okay, sounds okay. Share buffs with group members. Harvest raw fiber. Deal with damage using cannons. Core. Okay, this is just going to give us XP. Okay, let's go back to the game. Oh. And let me. All. Calling on captain. What's this one? All guns on the op. Well then. In a bid to cement their supremacy in the Indian Ocean, the DMC has dispatched an Opwellin, a powerful warship with an emblem of military might. Be it for glory or spoils, head out to sea and take down this Dutch monstrosity. So let's jump into the game. I actually did everything apart from one side quest in the beta. I was about to finish my last side quest, but it was in the little Dowie boat. I didn't have time to do it. I was recording and there was five minutes left. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see how much more this game's got to offer the second I actually load it up right now. So from going to having absolutely nothing left on my map, I want to see how much more is on my map. If I remove my camera quickly so when the game loads, you can actually see it. Right, here we go. So we got mail. Let's go over and look at the mail. Okay, that's for the main storyline. Wow, we have got a lot of mail. Oh, there's the Ubisoft Connect reward. Okay, brilliant. Let's put it all in my warehouse, please. And I have got everything, so progress has continued over it, if any of you were wondering. Okay, that was my Ubisoft Connect rewards. Ready to came. Uh, cl came. What's up with my English today? Onwards to the end. Quiet in the night. Watching Evermore. Legendary hat. We get... So wow. Okay, there's quite a lot to, to claim. I, I don't even get a reader. It's just, it just claims it. There's a, there's a PvP event. I'm I'm joining it. I am joining it. Let's go and do our first one. Where is it? It's over there. Let's join the event. And let's try and do our first PvP event. Okay, there's Chinese whispers going on over there. Let's quickly go and see. We've got 4 minutes 26. Have... I won't be able to see if I've got everything. Everything looks like the, the beta. I was literally playing 12. I played till midnight last night. Cause I was like, no, I'm not going to be able to play this. And uh, yeah, we can already play this game straight away. So I'm pretty happy with that. Where are the whispers going on? They were over here. All right. So I didn't, I didn't get to it in time. 
What's this all about? Why is the skull showing on my... Um... Right, manage ship. Ship cosmetics. Oh, look at this. No way. I've got to. Everything. I love it. I love it. Wait, what? Oh, because we have to do the, the quest to get that. Fair enough. What other stuff did we get? So we got that. I'm not bothered. Okay, this is what we got from the start. It's okay. I mean, it's alright. Not really bothered. What's this? It's quite a cool colour. Oh, and that's the other one with the blood on the sails. So that's, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, I haven't even got my Twitch reward, so I don't know where that is. But I did watch Twitch, and that hasn't appeared. We'll quit that one as well. Oops. What am I doing? What do I have at my top? Oh no, what have I done? Right, let's get fast travelling. Let's get, let's get there. What do I have at my top? Oh, I know what I had there. That's easy. I, I literally had the repair kits. Right, let's make sure we set sail for it. Okay, I might have to change the ship whole colour. I'm not a massive fan of that. I love how I've got the skull on the top there, though. Okay, everything is as normal. I just need to edit that. And I need to quickly select. And what I put there is... Why can't I find it? It is the the kit that stops any Someone's here already. Try and do the first PvP. No point in me bracing. I don't know what this guy's doing. I think it's PvP started. I must have put it in my warehouse. So it's the kits that remove status effects. Oh, look, we're all going for this. Oh, he's got... He's got a fire cannon. I don't want to be too close in front of that. He will absolutely destroy me with that. And so it begins. The first PvP. I don't know why he's actually coming for me. The scroll is still in the middle of the ocean. So I will quickly consume some food. I'll grab that scroll. I'll use one of the small kits. I'm going to use that. And now where have I got to go? 
I have got to f go. Oh, wow. This is a lot further. Okay. Well, he failed at turning around. And I've got the scroll. So maybe I'll win this PvP just simply for being a bit quicker on it than he was. Why is this Fangs of Fara showing up in blue? It's an elite captain. It gives me 155 infamy. I don't know how much infamy this is going to give me. Maybe I'm going to be the highest on the leaderboard straight away just because I'm going to be the first to complete a PvP. I don't think it's possible for him to catch me. None of them here. I don't know if they went over him though. So I need to kind of find out the best route. My best route's not going to be going through there. It's actually going to be heading up and then heading, heading through the next opening. Which will be up here. And as long as I look at that dial where the knots are on the bottom. And I just keep it in the green for as long as possible. Because these sails are side on. You've only got a tiny bit where the speed won't catch up. Oh, that was close to hitting him then. I'll tell you what will hit him. A nice mortar with his name on it. Did that hit him? Yes, it did. Okay, I just said about the wind, and now I've just hit the wind, and it slowed me right down. It's not good. Okay, there we go. I've managed to gain speed again. No, 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 no. Okay, now we can turn in and have that wind to our other side. Let's turn that and try and hit him with that. Constantly got my food, so my stamina's going up. We don't have to worry about that. And let's head in. Hold this. Oh. Where am I going? So I turn left here and then head straight through. The, 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 tell you what, these PvP journeys are a bit longer now. Does that hit? It's going to. Oh, no. He's too slow. He's miles behind. He's got no chance. That any of them hit him? Go on, hit. Go on. Go on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting hit by the other ship, though. Let's just get through here. Let's not worry about that ship. I'm lucky that I've got everything on me. This guy is so confused. He's like, where is he going? I just need to be careful I don't crash into anyone here. Because if I do, then I'll start a faction war. And I don't want to be fighting other factions, especially... While I'm on the run on PvP. Let's keep her moving. And maybe the reason I didn't like my colours is because the the armour that I've got on. Oh right, that's probably what it is. That's what's probably what's blue. Am I still in the right direction? Yeah, where's he going then? He's going to try and transport. He's not going to be able to fast travel to me quick enough. Uh oh. When you go through these, it makes you go a little bit quicker as well, which is not the nicest. What? What? So also, what you're going to see is when you do complete a cutthroat, or a, is, is it a cutthroat? Yeah, cutthroat cargo hunt. You get a legendary treasure map, and with that legendary treasure map, you where if you get to the port without dying, or you get to that port and you hold it 30 seconds and get in without dying, 
you just have to go around and quickly get that treasure and then you get a legendary loot from from the treasure and i probably believe this is one of the first ever pvps to successfully complete it he is at a port so he might be able to travel here in time i don't think he will because that's obviously another option you could do there we go let's disembark we managed to do it so all we've got to do simply now is quickly head through we can look at the treasure map to see what it looks like what we're looking for we're looking with stone and a shield and we just got to look for that item somewhere and it will glow orange once you found it so it's 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 completely fine it's not that hard to do and uh yeah you simply just have to take your time and walk around if you can store this information in your head then every time that you come to an outpost it's going to be a lot easier and a lot quicker for you so you don't have to keep running around trying to find that specific location see like i've just gone to dead end there it's not there so we'll just head up head round and see if we can find it in another spot it will be here somewhere uh is it down here no okay this this location is a bit bigger than i thought we'll head over here it's not here so where might it be down here there it is so there we go there's the uh, stone with the shield if i dig it up let's see what we get please give me something great it's a legendary treasure map and i think in the open beta a lot was limited so let's see what we get bam we got a long gun four and iron husk four wasn't the greatest and we got 10,000 silver though but we got 300 infamy i need to write that down or 295 for doing a cutthroat because i need to find the fastest way to get infamy to get to kingpin so that's 295 plus 295 so i've gotten that and written down now let's quickly just have a look, repair my ship, I might as well. If I quickly go and manage ship, we can see all the ship. We saw the ship cosmetics before. We've seen the cash we've got. Can you access the store while in the game? So if we press start, yes you can. It's pretty handy. Well, it is and it isn't, because obviously we shouldn't be needing it that much. Um, and yeah, let's have a look at the map. And look at the quests that we've got popping up everywhere. So we don't have many. If, if I press X, what comes up? The horizon beckons. Cross the open seas and reach the pirate den. Expand your influence beyond the red isle. Where opportunities await in the east. So that would be over here then. So that's where the story continues. So in terms of actual quests that I've got. Side quests. You can see this one's new. Because that quest weren't there. And this. No. This one's new. On that location but other than that I literally completed absolutely everything so this is where I'll be heading might as well fast travel there I need to manage my cargo as well to put that in my ship and I'll quickly show you my uh, current ship loadout well that's annoying how that covers over that to make it easy for you to travel So here we are so my current ship loadout just so you can see as well if i go to manage ship i had the weapons i had for the front i got the sherlock skirlocks chasers which are the the cannons that you get for doing the story quest which give you 7,000 damage after a torn sail effect is applied so if you hit their sails three times you'll cause 7,000 damage i've got piercing free adds 30 percent of damage it's piercing damage increasing damage to weak points by 100 percent uh increased damage by 50% when hitting sails so if you are hitting sails because they're going away from you you've got a chance of obviously tearing their ship slowing them down and being able to catch up with them which is huge to have so i have that as my front cannons just just so you can chase people down now i know a lot of people got the the fire thing which is great for damage but it's not great for chasing people down on both sides i've got the fire bombard twos only because i'm using this ship i'm actually going to be changing my ship i've got explosive two and burning one uh, and it comes with all them other stats 
and then on the rear of the ship I've actually got uh, Basilisk twos. Now the only reason I've got this is simply because it upped my ship level. I won't be using this. I'll probably be putting it on the back. Uh, also another load of Skurlock chasers or fire bombards. Now for my um, aux auxiliary, I've got the Leopold, which causes flooding, blast. And it's got explosive damage and flooding damage. It does quite a lot of damage, as you saw before, with 6,875. I have got rockets, but up until now, I couldn't buy rockets because in the open bait, you couldn't buy them because you had to reach a certain rank. But I can reach that rank, so I'll be able to do that, which is cool. Um, armor, that's why my ship is blue. So if we could quickly just take that off, yeah, my ship looks a lot better. But yeah, I've got this, which is the Gambas uh, Cobe which does layered plank seal off any breaks in the hull, making the ship uptight. It stops people from piercing me and flooding me with ease. It's not too good for PvP. For PvP, you're probably going to want everyone's got explosive at the moment, so you want something that's going to defend against explosivity. So Iron Husk, um, but that is good for open world activities, um, especially. The furniture I'm using, so I've actually got the Megaphone. Now, I don't want the Megaphone. What I do want is the one that, which I haven't got unlocked, is if you hit... Uh, uh, enemy ship with a crew attack you gain 8% of your whole health back that will definitely be the best one especially for pvp and yet again like i said i'm going to be doing mainly pvp i've got increased acceleration deceleration by 8% it doesn't seem like a lot but yet again when you're in a battle and we're doing pvp it's going to increase it by a lot i've got my bombard uh, projectile speeds up by 15% because if we can attack them quicker and move quicker and be a lot more agile and everything, it's going to do a lot more and increase my front weapon damage by 10%. So I'm chasing them down. I still want to be peppering them a little bit. A lot of this will change, uh, uh, but this is my ship up to its current time. You saw the cosmetics, and now we're in the location. So, guys, um, let me know what you think of this video. If you want more videos like this where I just do a complete gameplay and explanation, uh, like, follow, comment, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Peace.